Do you know that situation when you're heavily concentrated at work, hands down and really getting things done? Maybe doing a very detailed analysis, reviewing an important document or drafting a high value proposal. Well, looks like you're getting a lot of emails while watching my video and probably as well at work. So let me quickly fix that. Maybe you can ignore such email notifications once, twice or even three times, but since the average person receives 121 emails per day, sooner or later you may be pulled to your inbox again and look which potentially super important emails or maybe just spam have reached you. And then it's gone. Your deep concentration and the flow state you had reached leaving you with a shallow work attitude. But what if I tell you that there are three simple ways to stop Outlook from interrupting you in your workflow. And the best thing about them is that they take less than a few clicks to implement, but will provide you with hours of uninterrupted work going forward. The first way is to turn off notifications such that you will never be distracted from the Outlook sound and the pop-up in the bottom right corner anymore. Just go to File, Options and under Email, scroll to Message Arrival. There you can choose between the different visual and audio effects that are shown whenever an email arrives. If you want to get rid of the sound, uncheck the first box. You can also get rid of the desktop alert that pops up in the bottom right corner of your screen and maybe even of the envelope icon in your taskbar. I would recommend at least getting rid of the sound and the alert and depending on your discipline, maybe even of the icon. For me personally, this works best because once I see that envelope in the taskbar, I know there's something waiting for me in my inbox. And even if it's not relevant or maybe spam, I have that curiosity and want to go to my inbox eventually. So not even seeing the icon, you really don't know how many emails you get at all and it's basically as if you have exited your Outlook. But still you're receiving all of your reminders. But sometimes I also need to work with my emails, for example to review information that a colleague has sent to be included in a new contract or some numbers in an email that I want to look at whilst working in my own Excel spreadsheet. So having turned off all your notifications does not really help if you have Outlook open and see all incoming messages right away on top of your inbox. But there are two solutions to that problem. First of all, you can change the interval for the automatic send receive cycle. As per the default settings and as long as Outlook is connected to the internet, it regularly checks in the background if new emails have been received. The great thing is that you can change that interval by going to File and Options again, then to Advanced and down to Send and Receive. There you can click on the button to get to more settings and change the interval. In my case, I have the same interval set for all of my email accounts connected to Outlook, which is 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, Outlook checks in the background if there's messages to be sent or received which will then pop up in your inbox. Now let's say you want to change that interval to 60 or even 90 minutes. You can be sure that in the meantime, you will not receive any emails triggered by the automatic check. If you still want to check your emails in between the interval, you can always press F9 in Outlook or click on the button Send Receive for all folders on the home ribbon to start the send and receive process manually. So depending on your preferences and working style, maybe having two hour working blocks or shorter Pomodoro sessions, you can change the automatic send and receive interval. Now let's say that your days are quite different such that it's difficult to see an overarching pattern of working blocks. This is the case for me. Even though I work with time blocks, they might be very different from day to day. So a 60 or 90 interval might be perfectly timed on one, but not the other day. To fix that, you can leave everything as is. So you do not have to turn off your Outlook notifications, sounds, alerts or change the automatic intervals. The only thing you need to do is go to the Send and Receive tab and do a right click on the empty space on the right side and select to customize the ribbon. If you select to show all commands, go down to Disable Scheduled Send and Receive. Before you can add it to your tab, you need to create a new group. So click on New Group rename it and now you can add the disable scheduled send and receive functionality to the newly added group. To make this option pop in your toolbar, go to rename and choose a bright icon, for example, the red circle here. Click on OK and the button appears in your newly created group in the send and receive tab. 
Now, whenever you enter into a deep work mode, an important meeting, or if you're just fed up with being distracted from too many emails, you can click on that button to manually disable schedule send and receive. So as long as this button is active, you will not get any emails, but will still be notified with the Outlook pop-up about your next meetings you don't want to miss. Even if you close and open Outlook again, the button will stay as you left it. So the only challenge remaining is to not forget to deactivate the button to receive emails again. But if you're still receiving way too many emails, watch this video next to automate your inbox and reduce the time and work you have to spend getting on top of your inbox again.